Hi everybody, it's Oops Pop, aka Kitty, and uh, I'm here to make a vlog. Yeah! As you can see, it's an indoor vlog, and that's because it's raining outdoors. Has been for a couple days now. <laughs> so sad. Um, and I don't mind the rain, but uh, since I am just recovered from pneumonia, uh, it's a good thing I'm not going out in it. <laughs> okay, so uh, what can I tell you? I can tell you that um, I had a rather miraculous recovery from pneumonia, um, double pneumonia. And double pneumonia just means I have pneumonia in both lungs. Uh, yeah. And uh, I saw my doctor this week and uh, he checked me out and he said, uh, my lungs are clear. So a very exciting news. And I'm not even finished my antibiotics yet. So yeah. <laughs> so I'm very happy. So it's been uh, uh, 10 days or more since I posted my um, three year anniversary video. And uh, I am going to answer all the comments. <laughs> There's quite a few videos out there with a lot of comments that I need to answer. But uh, please forgive me, I was sick. <laughs> but anyways, um, I just want to say thank you so much for trying to think of a, a video, a favorite video or your first video. And I know it was a long shot uh, remembering the first. But uh, anyways, it was really cool. And you, some of you had some really interesting responses. And, um, and a lot of you met me through my fruit videos, which is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I am still looking for uh, unusual fruits, by the way, people. I am looking. It's just that the variety of fruit here where I live in rural southern New Brunswick is not large. Not. Uh, uh, okay, so in exciting news, uh, my nephew turned five. Yeah! I don't remember turning five, but um, anyways, it's, it was an exciting day for him. in other exciting news <laughs> you know that big field I'm always walking down to get to the river um, I'll show you a bit of it now well uh, the other weekend the owners of the field uh, went and burnt it now I was too sick that weekend to go and see it burning <laughs> but uh, anyways I'm going to show you the results of them burning the field So what happens when they burn the fields is they get rid of all the brush, all the hay, old hay and, and golden rods that were left from last year. And then the grass comes up really green. I mean, the grass was going to come up green anyways, but this way they don't have to like mow it all down. So yeah. So anyways, uh, yeah, I thought you might be interested in a burnt field. Who knows? Uh, okay. So I wanted to tell you about a couple movies I saw. Now, two of them I saw on TV and, um, but the trouble is, is that I can't remember what the first one was. Oh, it was a good, good. I just remember it was a really good movie. And now I don't even remember what it was about. And I don't remember what the movie was called. <laughs> Not good. But I do remember um, in March, I saw a movie called Freedom Writers. It's based on a true story about um, a teacher who, uh, in, who taught with unusual methods and challenged the school system and, 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 challenged her students um, to think more of themselves um, when the school system wouldn't and when the and when the society larger society wouldn't and um, and anyways talk about a tearjerker but a really phenomenal movie it is definitely a must see people so that's called freedom writers and then I also went to the theater with friends and saw the movie uh, the iron lady and uh, I don't know if any of you have seen it or not but um, it's it's a biographical look at um, uh, Margaret Thatcher, who was the prime minister of Britain for like a decade uh, back in the 80s. And uh, anyways, it's a very, um, it's a very good movie. Uh, it's the kind of movie that starts with, uh, you start at the end of her life and then you keep flipping back. Um, and I don't generally like that kind, but uh, in this case it works really well. And uh, it's a very good story and uh, it's not too political. I mean, it, it highlights the major political things in her life, but um, it's definitely a more personal twist to, to her life. So anyways, I thought it was a really good movie and definitely um, uh, worth seeing. So 
are there any signs of spring? People, I'm still looking for leaves. <laughs> yes, I am. And the other day I found some leaves. <laughs> Just a few tiny little ones. So anyways, I'm going to show you my leaves. Yeah, so... <laughs> yeah, it's still pretty gray here. <laughs> there is little bits of color here and there. Um, there are some flowers that are blooming and uh, in the wild. And uh, some planted flowers that are blooming, like crocuses. And um, there's this flowering bush we have called um, a Daphne, and it's in bloom. Um, and so I'm going to show you the crocuses and the Daphne and the flowering maples and a few more pussy willows because I like them. So here they are. Yeah, so uh, slowly but surely, uh, spring is going to arrive. <laughs> Someday, soon. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so that's where things are right now, uh, here in Cave Land. And uh, yeah, I don't have anything else to tell you at the moment. Um, so I will chit chat with you all later.